Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is April 21st. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, it's supposed to get rain later, but right now I'll throw a painted up here. It's nice and blue. A uh, few clouds, but uh, it's going to be about 75 degrees today. They're calling rain for this afternoon. Um, today, I am converting my 12-volt solar system to a 24-volt solar system. Okay. Um, right now, I have three 250-watt solar panels up. I have three more panels underneath here that will be going online. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that part today. So I'm going to take you in here, and I'm going to show you my system that I have right now. This is all getting broken down today and replaced, okay? So, um, right now I have eight Trojan T105 batteries. I have uh, a Renology MPPT charge controller. I have a Traveler 3000 watt inverter, okay? Um, that's what I have right now. Everything's getting switched out, okay? So that's all going to get broken down today. And right now it's on so the solar's on right at the moment um, so let me take in here real quick and I will show you what I have um, I'm going to be switching out switching out to an Ames 24 volt inverter and charger um, this thing is a hundred or oh no 68 pounds there's things really freaking heavy um, so I'm going to be going with that charge con or, um, for the inverter and then I'm going to be going with the Trojan L 16 e 6 volt batteries I have 12 of them, so I'm going from 8 Trojan T105s to 12 of the Trojan L16E batteries. I also picked up the Midnight Classic inverter. Or, yeah, no, no, no. Ugh. Going blank here, I'm sorry guys. Um, so I got the Midnight Classic here. We have the inverter, and this is the charge controller, okay? So, I also picked up a bunch of components from um, Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar, okay? So I got those, and I also picked up um, a combiner box from them as well, from Missouri Wind and Solar. So I had those delivered. I have the uh, Whizbang Junior right here, and that's going to end up going in line with it as well so that I can do everything right on my computer. And so I got a bunch of, um, as you can see here, uh, 60 amp breakers. I have uh, the Scorpion 100 amp. So I picked up a bunch of stuff because I wasn't sure exactly all what I needed and I wanted to make sure I had too much as opposed to too little. And if I don't, you know, if I have them for backups, then I have them for backups. So I, I bought a bunch of breakers here. But these are um, 60 amp breakers, but they're DC, okay? And uh, so, and then I have the, I'm going blank here. But, uh, yeah, so I got everything that I need, you know, as far as getting things set up here. So this is the project of the day. Um, it's going to be a very interesting day, to be honest with you. It's going to be long, but it's going to be cool, and it's going to be done. I know this has been long awaited. I'll probably do this over a series of a couple of videos. So this will probably be over two, three days. You'll see this, but this is all going to get set up today. Um, and so it'll be a series of things, and then I'll show everything as we do it. I'm real excited about this. The biggest thing going from a 12 volt to a 24 volt system is the efficiency. Um, I am not an expert at this. Um, I've learned as I've gone along the way. Like I said, a big shout out goes to Bill and Rosa. Um, and, uh, you know, 
the building rolls off grid they've been off grid for a few years now and they have you know the same system and I called him and got a lot of advice from him and I really really appreciate it this is one beautiful thing about the off-grid community um, for the most part everybody wants to work together and help each other out like I said my biggest thing is the reason I want to share this with you guys I want you to learn from my mistakes um, you know the biggest piece of advice I can give anybody don't go cheap go ahead and put the money up front originally you're going to be more efficient in the long run um, if you, you want to go with a 12 volt or a 24 volt or a 48 volt system it's completely up to you um, like I said I'm going from 12 to 24 eventually I probably will go to a 48 volt system um, it really depends I want to see how this works for us okay um, I have two teenage kids and I want to make sure I have enough power coming in and I have and I have enough you know battery storage that we're going to be in good shape um, so I kind of went heavy um, I bought 12 of the L16E batteries I got about three thousand dollars just invested in those batteries alone okay um, you know but it's worth it it's an investment it's gonna pay for itself um, I have the 750 watts here I got another 750 watts to put online and um, then I'm also gonna probably be picking up another three panels here this summer soon um, eventually I will pick up four more batteries um, for a total of 16 batteries so um, realistically with what I have invested now and then um, what I want to get I need to pick up at least I have 1500 watts of solar right now I want to have at least another 1500 watts um, plus three more or four more batteries so total what I think would, would be perfect for us if I have a 3000 watt system and 16 batteries I think I should be in really good shape in the Northeast we plan for winter everything is about winter so if I have enough solar in the battery storage and capacity we should be good to go no matter what the weather is like in the winter okay so that's what I'm working towards personally um, so in the summertime 750 watts actually probably would be more than enough but like I said I want to have it set up jacked up right now get it squared away so that we're in good shape but uh, so it's going to be an exciting day going from 12 volt to 24 volt system i'm going to get off of here i'm going to start breaking stuff down and uh, i will be back and show you guys more what's going on later all right i'll talk to you later prepper nurse went out for now